Hey, good morning, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed a great holiday and you're ready to get back at it. It's the first Monday of the new year, 2021. Everybody kind of gets rolling and ready to go and has their, uh, you know, New Year's resolutions. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, we were supposed to have a guest on here today and we had some technical difficulty getting that guest on. So we're just going to kind of get into just, you know, talk about some different ways to stay motivated because everybody starts off the new year with their New Year's resolutions. They have their you know, I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to do more phone calls. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I should, I should, I should. And majority of the time, most people end up shooting all over themselves and they'll get those things done. And that's just due to, you know, sometimes I think not just a lack of motivation, but more so uh, a lack of discipline. Discipline is the key to all success. So every day, you know, not just motivated to get up and go into the gym, but the discipline to go to the gym, the discipline to get up and eat right, the disciplines to uh, get to work a little bit early and make that one extra phone call. So as we talk a little bit more about um, Max Monday Mojo and really start diving into this year. We do have some amazing guests coming on this year. So it's kind of ironic that the first Monday of the year, we have technical difficulty and that must mean it's a reason for it. So, hey, I'm just going to roll. So one thing I, you know, have really, really been focused on or last year I was really focused on was just creating a hunger. You know, being an uncommon, you know, not just among common people, but to be uncommon among uncommon people. So to really look at people that were further ahead than I was and start to pick their brains, grab a hold of what they were doing and just ride that train, man. There's so many great people out there that have done some great things um, and they're there and they want to help. I think we just have to go out and ask. So, you know, first off is admitting to ourselves where we are at this point of the new year, we are starting a new year. Where are you at at this point? Whether it's you want to lose weight or you want to gain more business, but what is it and where are you at? And what are you willing to do to get you to the other side? You know, that's that's how you become uncommon among uncommon people. So pushing yourself to that next level, getting that that hunger. And eliminating the distractions. There's so many distractions that we deal with on a daily basis, whether it's people, you know, just just tugging at us. Or I think more so what I see, especially in this industry, is a lot of people telling you what you can't do. All right. This year is going to be amazing in real estate. So we'll talk a little bit about that real quick. Um, I know last or the Monday before we talked about the opportunities that are going to be available in real estate. You know, if you're a first time home buyer, this is got to be the best time ever for you to get serious and start talking to somebody in real estate that can guide you along the way, whether that's me or a friend of yours or whatever it may be, because this is a time where you're going to have an opportunity to invest in yourself and put yourself in a better situation there is never i don't i don't think there's ever been a better time at least in my you know career for a person to get in and jump in and grab a hold of some real estate and start to really leverage that ability to create some wealth so um one of the things so right now the first part of this new year for everybody oh i think we got Oh, I think we got our one of our guests, Mr. Dustin. I think he's gonna pop in here. Are we gonna what's up, Dustin? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, bud. Good to have you. I'm glad you, you got past the technical difficulty, Dustin. <laughs> yeah, it was a little rough this morning. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. We're just talking, you know, kind of going into um some disciplines and you know how people can make going into the new year different from maybe the last year. Because everybody tends to come into the the new year with expectation, um, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. And then usually week two or week three, people are starting to fall apart. So how can we help the people that tune into this not fall apart? (laughs) You know, give them some. Mac, and, and, and I'm actually really glad you and I are doing this together this morning because uh, you and I are a lot of the same mindset, right? And, you know, I think the new year, new me, 
Uh, that's junk. That's just junk advice, right? I mean, if you make a decision to be one person and have a, one work ethic, you know, five days ago, but then you're going to turn all of that around today by, you know, eating clean, working out, calling prospects, you know, working on booking appointments, you're going to burn it out. I mean, it's just like, you know, working out anything like that. You've got to be, it's got to become part of what you do, who you are. It's got to be, a, it's a lifestyle, right? Yeah. It's called a discipline, you know, get in and sit there and make your calls, you know, update your prospects, uh, book appointments. And it's, it's, it's not just about, Hey, I'm going to commit to this for a week. I'm going to commit to this for two weeks. It's all about just doing the work, right? And, and consistency. It's all about consistency. Well, and you know, you're talking about that. I didn't really introduce you. So <laughs> Dustin Hodges, you can see his name on the screen. He's actually my partner in, in crime and in business and in, in everything that we do over here at uh, Lone Depot and, and Cherry Creek. And the reason why I wanted him on is because he's been really good about being disciplined and getting things done. And this year, I mean, you made it into a very elite class of uh Branch manager, which is with uh, Chairman's Elite, and that is a big thing over here at uh, Lone Depot because it takes a lot to get in. And you know, your first year, really year and a half at Lone Depot, and you're in, and you've been accountable for a few other folks getting in. And um, hey, it, 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 you know, it's a direct effect of of, and it says a lot about who you are. So talk to that a little bit. Well, Mac, thanks. That, that that means a lot coming from you. Yeah. Um, and congratulations, too, by the way. Uh, you made it. <laughs> I get in my teeth. <laughs> no, no, man. I mean, you know, I mean, it's funny. I mean, if you if, if, if you look at, it, um, you know, a lot of some of the a lot of the folks that didn't make it, you know, I think really should have made it. Um, you know, we've got a couple of people, you know, I'm just uh, right at now. I've never been more blessed to work with the people that I've got the opportunity to work with. You know, I mean, I feel like it's the dream team. I mean, what was it, the 80s or early 90s when we stacked that entire dream team going into the Olympics? That's right. literally how it feels right now. Um, you know, everybody around us or around me right now is just super uplifting, super motivated, super goal driven. And, you know, and they discipline really hard. You know, the, the folks that, you know, we're fortunate to work with, I mean, they come to work and they come to play and they show up every single day, bag in hand, right at the court or the field, right? And so, I mean, there was, it was really nothing special that I did. You know, I just happened to, you know, be blessed enough to work around, you know, the most amazing people I've ever had the opportunity to work with in my entire career. Well, man, tell me, you know, a bit about, you know, your disciplines and some of the things that, that you've done that have helped you, you know, keep growing and go to the next level. Because I know a lot of people on my on the channel and when they tune into this, they're in real estate or they're looking to get into real estate or, uh, you know, looking to buy a house. But, you know, give some words of wisdom on a daily basis, a minute by minute breakdown of what you do. So really, I mean, it's just you got to wake up with the right mindset, right? You know, I don't check emails first thing in the morning. You know, I'll, I'll watch some up or motivating videos, anything just to really get me going. And I know that this is going to sound weird. Cold showers. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. It sucks. I mean, it really does. Right. You know, um, and that just seems to recharge me. And then, um, you know. After that, it's just, you know, I've been doing the same thing for so long that everything that I do is just um, automatic for me. It's just get in, check email, see what fires we got to, you know, if there's any fires we got to put out. If there are, let's just get them out, out of the way right now. Take your big roadblocks and knock them out first thing in the morning, right? If you got something that's keeping you up at night, if it's a, whether it's a file or, you know, if you're a borrower and you're like, God, I got to get my bank statements to my loan officer, just do it. I mean, it's so simple. I mean, there's no magic to anything, right? right. You know, I've met some phenomenal, some incredibly talented people and I look at their numbers and I'm like, how, right? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's just about how, how committed you are to um, your own success, right? It's just, what are you willing to do to get up and go do it every single day? Some days it sucks. Yeah. So it doesn't, you yeah. know? I had a coach that said, embrace the suck, you know? Yeah, that's so true, man. Yeah. You know, just get up get up, and get it done. You know, it's like when we start our day. And I, this morning, you know, I will. I, I know you had a rough one this morning. It was, it was hard, you know, because we flew in. You know, you're feeling a little bit off balance because you've been, I've been in Florida for, for the week and then coming back. Yeah, you say no, that had me off balance too, having you. 
<laughs> well, it, it was it was needed, but we still worked a little bit out there and played. But, uh, you know, rolling out, of, that alarm went off at 4.45. Yeah. And I'm no different than everybody else. My, my brain said, hit the snooze, lay down. You deserve it. But there is what we really need to be saying. There's a, two guys, one on your shoulder, one saying, you deserve it, lay down. The other one saying, get up off your butt. We got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of people to help. And that's the person that I think we need to record and play back over and over in our heads to just get up and, and get out of bed and go to the gym. Because once that's done, the, the sky's the limit, man. That's the first thing you beat. True. Well, I mean, you got to beat yourself, right? I mean, you've right. got you've got to find a way to just shut that little voice off in your head. Right. You, you know, nothing comes good from staying in a comfort zone, right? No. Right. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful place. It's real nice. It's warm, fuzzy, everything like that, but there's no growth in it. Right. The growth right. that, you know, you portray every single morning by, you know, what are you at the gym at? Like six o'clock in the morning every day? Five? Five. We try to no later than five fifteen. hopefully. <laughs> okay. How many people will actually commit to do that? One out of a thousand, probably, you know, they're going to listen to that snooze button, that little voice in their head that says, oh, I'm a little simple. Let's go back to bed. No, don't listen to that voice. Get out of your own way and go do it. And I mean, heck, Mac, I mean, last week you and I were going over files while you were on vacation, right? And I mean, if you look at it, most people shut down on every level. You know, if you're looking to buy a house, you're like, hey, I'll just pick this up again next year. If you're, you know, a realtor, you're like, oh, I've got a ton of people that I've got to call back next year. You know, I'll wait till that first week of January. Um, if you're a loan officer, you're like, hey, you know, it's been a great year so far. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of take it off and just really, you know, get some more in our time. But if you look at the people who were committed and basically said, that's great. The holidays are here. We got Christmas, which is one day. That's great. We got New Year's, which is one day. I'm going to take two days off. And if you look at the people that were still pushing hard and going through, that's one of the biggest different, you know, game changers right there is just because you just got to get out of your own way. Yeah, family time is important. I, I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat that. You've got to have a great quality balance in life. Right. But I mean, if you've got goals, you have to go hit them every day. You got to chip away at it. You just, I don't know any other way to put it, but just go. Right, right. And you just, ha you have to. It's one of those things if you want to do anything in life and you want to elevate and become, you know, uncommon. Yeah. You, know, and you, you just got to get up, get up and go. Now, you know, talk a little bit about our, you know, our branch, you know, out of, out of Cherry Creek. What have you done? What did you implement that made it better than other places you've been before? You know, I mean, other than the fact that we do work for a phenomenal company, right? Yeah. I mean, I yeah. really love this company. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, from the technology to, you know, the people that we've got surrounded uh, or surrounded or surrounding us every single day, it's honestly, it's, it's a dream team. I mean, sure, you know, we'll have a few weeks, a few weak links here and there. But the thing is, is, I mean, if you, whenever you start surrounding yourself about around amazing people, amazing, amazing things happen, right? It's not, right. Like, it's just, you know, it is what it is. You just, if, if you're inspired by awesomeness or greatness and you've got people around you that are going hard, that are, you know, fighting for every deal they can for their borrowers to get in their new houses, you know, that's electric. I mean, that's right. stemmed off, you know, I mean, that'll wear off or um, that energy will go to different people and it's electric. Right. And so really, man, I wouldn't say that there's anything special that I did. Um, I just think that, you know, by, by being very blessed and getting the right people around me and having some of the most incredible people, you know, that I could have ever have imagined working with me. Um, that's really all it is. You know, I know a lot of companies want to just pick up, you know, anybody that can close a loan, right? I mean, right. You know, typically the nature of our business, but if you look at it and you get really granular on it on, Hey, is this person going to bring value? Right. And not necessarily loans, but with attitude, attitude's the biggest thing that you look for. And if right. you look at it, you know, we've got, you know, nothing but all stars with us right now. And that's, I mean, that's really the biggest, you know, piece is, you know, we don't want to hire everybody, you know, um, you, you want to, you want to be around people that will inspire you to level up, to get to that next level. Yeah. And I, I think um, you, you touched on something there as people go into, and I know myself included going into the new year, sometimes you have to look at who you're around, yeah. who you surrounded yourself with and see whether or not, whatever it is, whether it's a person, place or thing, if it brings value to your life. You do. You know, if it, it doesn't bring value, it's probably bringing you down and taking you in the other direction. And mm -hmm. I was having that conversation with the kids this weekend and it's, uh, 
you know, one of those things that you're trying to instill in your kids and, and, and your friends and family is like, if it, excuse me, if the person, place or thing doesn't bring value, then what is it bringing to you? Headache. You know, and that's bring, usually bringing you down. We only have so much energy in the day that we can use. So if it's not being used for in a positive manner, it's usually being used in a negative manner. And that we can start trimming the fat on. So I think those those things in in general, if people start to grab hold of that, I think that can help move them quicker to their uh, goals coming into the new year. Just start trimming the fat, the, the weights, a lot of weights. You know, and, and you do this too, and I do, but every year I look at each relationship that I've got in my life, right? I mean, because you're right. You've only got, you know, this much, you know, amount of energy that you can spend, right? You can only have so many relationships, so many friendships, everything like that. And so really what you have to do is look at every single relationship every year and look at it from a bank account perspective, right? Right. You know, all this person does is complain. All this person does is, you know, bring my energy level down. Are they worth having in my life? Right. right. Sometimes Yes. Sometimes, you know, a lot of times it's going to be no. And so I, you know, whether it's referral partners, whether it's, you know, a borrower working with a loan officer who may not really care, who just cares about the commission and not necessarily about them getting into the home. Right. I mean, whatever that relationship is, you got to look at it and say, hey, is this right for me? Right. Because, you know, you are you're going to be the average of the five people you hang around the most. Right. Right. You've got to get the people out of the way that bring you down. You just. Right. Well, man, I appreciate you taking the time to come no. on and talk right. a little bit about motivation and, you know, just keep it going because, you know, it's no silver bullet, man. I mean, there's no magic pill. Everybody, you're going to see all these commercials that come on TV about this magic pill. There is no magic pill. You got to get in there. We all have to get to work. It's not going to be easy. It's going to suck. You have to embrace the suck. <laughs> you have to say, hey, let's just get in and get dirty. Now, if you're smart, I think, and I don't want to call anybody dumb, but I think if you're smart, you surround yourself with a bunch of other people that are willing to just get in there and dig in with you because you can do more as a team than you can as an individual by yourself. And that comes from, you know, your realtor relations, your 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 processing staffs or whoever your support cast is, make sure that they're on the same page. Oh, exactly. I mean, that then that's the trick right there is just, you know, find a like for like, right? You know, I mean, I always, I always, I always have a rule, right, with everything. You know, if if I can't see myself grabbing a, you know, beer with you after work, for example, or something like that, or hanging out, I shouldn't be doing business with you, you know, in any way, shape, or form, right? Because you're not going to care about me, and I'm not going to care about your book of business either. Right. So. Well, man, I know I'm motivated going into this year. It's going to be a lot of cool stuff, some stuff that got left on the table in 2020, but we're out of 2020 now, and we're headed into 2021. I'm so. Thank, thank goodness, man. Thank goodness. But like I said before, um, a lot of people, you know, roll over thinking 2020 is over. So that changed everything. Nope. Uh -huh. The year doesn't change a thing. We change ourselves. Between your eyes. And yeah. what changes in between these uh, these walls right yeah. here in our, our mindset. So, man, yeah. thanks, Dustin, for coming on, man. We're going to have some fun today. we got a lot of business to take care of. <laughs> so I'm going to jump off. <laughs> got you. All right, but I appreciate you, man. Any any words of wisdom in party? You know, not really. I mean, it's just pick a goal, go after it. Don't let anything get in your way, not even yourself, right? Because we're always going to usually be our worst critic. You know, um, it's just get up and get hungry and go after it is, is at the end of the day all it's about. I mean, it's not, you know, you don't have to be the smartest. You don't have to be the best. You just have to be committed, committed to whatever the process is, right? Whatever your own process is. <laughs> and just go after it there it is there it is all right man works from the best all right yeah. bro, let's go get it this year all right let's do it all right i'll talk to you later bye all right everybody thanks for tuning in um we'll see you next week we're gonna keep it motivated i'm getting ready to go on a i'm gonna set something up i'm gonna talk to you about a little